Hey, Mike from One Arm Brewing and Barbecue here. Today, we're gonna do something out on the grill that you might not think belongs on the grill. We're gonna be doing some grilled pizza. Not just any kind of pizza, we're gonna make four different pizzas. Three, maybe one repeat. We're making four pizzas total because I have four crusts. We're gonna do a seafood pizza. Uh, we're gonna do a regular pizza. We're gonna do a pizza with some sausage and barbecue sauce on it. And the fourth one will probably be just another regular with just the pepperonis on it. In addition, what we're gonna do is we are going to grill some crab legs to go with it. We discovered grilled crab legs uh, a few months ago and that's the only way Ella will eat them now. They're so good that way. So let's get to cooking, shall we? So the stuff we're gonna be using on these pizzas, for the seafood pizza, we've done it a number of ways. Uh, where we've made our own white sauce, our own Alfredo sauce, but we found uh, this brand at HEB. This is the uh, Classico Roasted Garlic Alfredo. Tastes about like what we were making, and it's a heck of a lot easier. So we're gonna go with that. We're also gonna go with that same brand, Four Cheese uh, Red Sauce for some of them. On one of them, we're gonna go with our own Texas barbecue sauce. We've got some shrimps that are cooked up. Uh, no seasoning on those yet. We're gonna do something to them here in just a minute. We're also gonna use imitation crab on the pizza, and let me tell you why. I know it's not real crab. It tastes like it, it looks like it. For the pizzas, it's okay. <clears throat> These crab legs they had today, they were the last crab legs they had in the store. They're kind of small, not gonna get a lot of meat off of them, and I don't wanna deprive anyone in our house the satisfaction and fun of cracking them open you know, and getting the meat out of them. So we're gonna just do that on the side. Sometimes we'll cook those up and then uh, we will also uh, put that meat on there. And then uh, just some pepperonis. Uh, for our cheeses, we've got this Italian blend. Uh, you know me, I like it pre-shredded. So this is uh, mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, assaggio, fontina, and romano cheese. For the, the one with the sausage and the barbecue sauce, we've got cheddar and this asadero. And then we also have got this pizza blend, mozzarella, provolone, and Swiss. So we'll see kind of how it all turns out. We'll probably just end up mixing them all up anyways. You know how we do it, we do it live. So let's get on it, shall we? All right, so for our crab legs, we're gonna get them going first. So what I've got, we've got us a baking pan. We throw that in. We're gonna throw our uh, crab leg clusters in that pan got half a stick of butter i'm going to pour that over them and then we're going to taste take some dos equis and we're going to pour this in kind of get that mixed up with that butter save the last bit for us and then we're just going to go with some old bay you can go with any kind of seasoning that you want on that. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on there. And now what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna take the, the imitation crab, we're gonna throw that down in there, get some of that buttery beer flavor. And then we're also gonna take the shrimps. Now these are pre-cut, pre-cooked, uh, they're already cooked, veined, peeled, no tail and all that. So we're just gonna dump them in down into that butter beer mixture also. And then we're gonna dredge these claws around. We're gonna flip them over, let them get down in it, and we're gonna put some more of this Old Bay on the back side of it, get it down in that mixture. So what's gonna happen is, they're just gonna soak in this for a little bit. And we go out to the grill, uh, the, the, the shrimp and the crab. We'll take the crab legs out, put them on the grill, and get them cooked and then the, uh, the shrimp and the imitation crab will just let kind of boil into that butter beer stuff and get some pretty good flavor on it. All right, so for our first pizza, we're gonna go with, we've got these store-bought crusts. We've made the, you know, we've done it where you make the crust, where you roll the crust, you get the crust in the tubes, the frozen dough. We like it all. Tonight's just gonna be simple and easy. So we're going with the store-bought. We've got these original Mama, Me Mama Mary's, sorry, pizza crusts. We also have a couple of flatbreads that we're going to try. So we're going to get one of these crusts out. You know, the nice thing about these is 
they bake pretty quick. They're, they're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna go here. All right, so before you put this down, just get a little bit of cornmeal. Let's just throw that out at the bottom. Get that going. And then we're gonna take some of this sauce. Sauce on there, nice and chunky. Yeah. I'm gonna spread this out. You know, however much sauce you like, you can go with it. This has got some good tomato chunks in it. So spread this out like so. This is a nice cheese blend in this sauce. You know, we love cheese here at One Arm Brewing, in addition to our endless sausage platter, you know. Dip that with the charcuterie board with the cheese that goes with it and have a good time. So, we got that spread out. We're now gonna come in. <clears throat> We're gonna go with the traditional pizza blend on here. And again, that was uh, mozzarella, some provolone, and some Swiss. We're gonna go heavy on the cheese, like so. If you really want to get crazy, you know, you can do like what some of those chains do and, you know, put that pizza in the crust and infuse garlic and butter and all sorts of stuff. We're not that crazy. I'm going to put some cheese on. Now I'm going to come in with the pepperonis. Who doesn't love a good pepperoni pizza? I have found that you want to go with the non-turkey pepperoni. We bought that on accident once and it does not cook up on a pizza as well as your traditional pizza. You can make faces with these. We're just going to go on. And then we like to put a little more cheese over the top. I also like to sample the pepperoni. It's pretty good stuff. So a little more cheese over the top. This one is ready. Set out to the grill with it. We can only cook one at a time. So we'll make one, cook one, come in, set it. People can start eating, start the next one, and kind of go from there. Last one we're gonna do is, the, is that seafood one because we're gonna let those, um, that butter beer soak into the, into the food there really good. So, to the grill. All right, so we're outside, 90 degrees here today. That's why we wanted to do a pretty quick cook. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm turning around. So uh, let me flip this camera around. All right, so we've got the grill. We had it wide open, get it hot, drop it down to about half. You can see we've got a pizza stone in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this pizza right on there. Since I'm doing this one-handed, you're not gonna be able to see that. I also have a pizza spatula to get it off. It takes about four or five minutes to get this where you want it. We'll turn the heat down significantly there. And uh, let's get this pizza on there. So there it is. On that stone, you can go right on the grate. We've done that. We like that stone, how it textures up that bottom pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and close. And we are gonna start a timer and we will be right the back. So while we're waiting on pizza one, let's just tour around, look at our flowers. These blue bonnets, State Flower of Texas, really, really coming in nice. We've got another one over here. It's about to start kicking off. Our lavender is loving it. This guy we're trying to bring back. Took a couple of hits. Um, crunched a couple of branches, but this one over there is just really on fire. You know, we've got uh, some birds that live with us here. This is kind of fun. So we got a little bird feeder over there. We get some hummingbirds every now and then. It's a new feeder we're trying. But over here, this little birdhouse, we inherited this birdhouse. Let me see if I can get this. And there's a family of birds, little wrens, house wrens, uh, that come back every year. And that, that one we took down, we had the tree worked on, and we didn't get it back up until just the other day. And those wrens have come back in force. A couple of families of them living, pregnant, about to have some baby wrens. That's always exciting. You know, in addition to doing something nice for somebody, or something nice for the environment. You know, watching those birds every day, it's a lot of fun kind of brings that stress level down so plus these blue bonnets man those are just awesome so yeah so there's pizza number one ready to come off it's been on four or five minutes the bottom's a little crispy probably over crispy uh, but I like them that way so let's get it off and get the next one on all right so let's go for another one of those let's just go for another traditional that first one 
the bottom got a little overcooked. That stone was just a little warm. Go with another one of those. You know the routine. Italian cheese. Good to go. There's number two. Number two. Turn that middle burner off at the bottom. The pan was getting really hot, so I turned that off at the bottom. Uh, left and right are on low. This one will turn out pretty good. Back in four minutes. So here we are. Can give it a look under here. Looking good. So here we are. This one's ready to come off. All right. Pizza number four. We're going to go with flatbread. Yeah. Put us some cornmeal down. Flatbread. It's already got some burn spots. Let's pull those off. This one we're going to go with our one arm Texas barbecue sauce. Put it on. Spread it around. Really excited about these flatbreads. I like thin crust pizza, and I think these, they've been, they were wood fired, is what the wrapper says, so I don't, I don't know. And we're gonna go with uh, this uh, cheddar and asadero uh, cheese. And again, pretty shredded, because that's how we roll. Then we're gonna go with on top, far topping on this one. I grilled up some andouille sausage earlier. Cut it up. We're gonna go with this uh, down on here. This one I'm really pumped about. I like that sausage. You know, our endless sausage platter that dad does dinner. My buddy Chase always talks about. You know, he's just envious of it. So there we go. And of course, you gotta go with a little more cheddar on the top. Over it, lock in that goodness. We will go put this one on the grill. And here it is, ready to go. All right, so we got that on Dewey, and Dewey, on Dewey, whatever, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It's on there. Had to change out the propane. Uh, gotta pay attention to that you know when you run out you run out uh, you could do this on charcoal and wood but you know it's so fast you know and the you know doing it on grit on gas that really is that works for me um, yeah you know as I always talk about you know these these times right now they're really bizarre um, do something nice for somebody my buddy chase you know dad does dinner you know for his 26 subscribers hopefully they're looking over at at us and i think we're up to 17 so you know between the two of us we might hit 50 uh one of these days um do something nice for somebody uh do something nice for yourself too you know um take care of yourself take care of your family take care of your friends but also you know reach out help somebody in need where you can um help the birds you know it's exciting watching them come back and uh, be a part of our family this summer. Um, yeah, and enjoy some good food while you're at it. You know, just because you're stuck at home doesn't mean you got to eat uh, bologna sandwiches all the time. Although I do love me a good bologna sandwich, and we might be doing like a grilled bologna sandwich here in a couple of days just to try something new. Yeah, how about that grilled bologna? All right, let's see how this uh, pizza is doing now. It's looking gorgeous. It is ready to come off that cheese. What you're looking for is that cheese to be melted, that crust to be crisp. It's got a few more minutes on that crust because of the tank. It's going out, so I'll leave it about one more minute. Let's just stand here and look at this pizza. Now, we gotta shut the lid. All right, this one's ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this off. I'm gonna set it over here. 
ready to take it back in. But first, we're going to put these bad boys on. So I'm going to take this. And what we're going to do after we spill it, we're going to set this right on that stone. And then I'm going to take these guys and lay them right on the grill. This goes relatively quick. So I'm going to close this up, take that pizza in, and come back and deal with it. That's how fast this goes. All right. Flip these guys over. That. that one over. Give this a stir. Trying to get a little more crisp on those. It's gonna make those shells really, really easy to snap. We'll be back. We're gonna take a chef bite, one of these shrimps. Mm. You get that butter, a little old bay the beer, all that comes through in that shrimp, but you still get the shrimp taste, which is really, really nice. So these are ready to go. Crisp on them there. A little char at the ends is what you're looking for there. These should be ready. Pull that off. This one, yeah, pretty good. Pull this off and take it all inside. All right, for this last one, I'm going with the seafood, I'm going with the Alfredo sauce, putting it on onto that flatbread. And then, of course, we're going to go with some cheese. And then, Gonna go with the uh, shrimps. All right, so we're gonna take some of our shrimps, put them on. Coming straight out of that butter beer sauce. Some good stuff there. Got crab in there too. If you get some of that butter beer sauce on there, it's all good, it's flavor. When you make this with the real crab, it's it's extra special, but you know, like I said, it's kind of hard to get real crab here in San Angelo during these times. So we're going with that imitation crab. Give it some extra flavor with that butter beer sauce. Put all that on there. A little bit of that sauce for good measure. And we'll put the rest of that Italian cheese over the top. Seal it all in. And we'll go put this on the grill and we'll be back. All right, all right, here goes the last one. There it is, got the sizzle, it's gonna be great. See it in a few minutes. So there it is. Look at it all melted up. It is ready to come off. Got our pizza spatula. We are off. We are on the pan. We're going inside to eat. So here we have it. There's our three little pizzas, four pepperoni doubled. You know, there's our crabs. One of the disadvantages to making one pizza at a time and that crab after number three and before number four is that your family eats most of the crab before the chef even they comes in. Yes, they saved us some. That's saved me some. That's too true. Let's, um, Let's, let's taste it, shall we? All right, so let's give these a bite. Let's go with the traditional pizza first. Mm. Nice and crispy. You know what I find? Cooking it on that stone makes it kind of like a wood-fired pizza because when you throw those wood fires in, they're on that, that ceramic base. That's pretty good. Let's go with this one, the one I was really looking forward to, the un, undoey sausage with the barbecue sauce. Mm. <laughs> the 
families over here, none of them want to eat that one, do you? Nope. No, nobody wants that. That's all mine. Now we're going to go for the uh, seafood pizza. Can't get the color balance on that, but here it is. Mm. Alfredo sauce with that cheese, the buttery goodness of the shrimp and the fake crab. Mm. What do you think, Judah, the seafood one? It's better than the last time. It's better than the last time. Well, that's good. So that means we're getting better here at One Arm Brewing. That one's good. Let's go for some of that crab now. One of the things about this meal is this is a messy meal. Good stuff. So we're going to go with one of these big crab legs here. Are these all mine that's left? Yeah. Yeah? There's three, four. Yeah. Three, all right, so here we go. Oh, it's a pinky toe. Get this guy here. Oh. Huh? Snap it. You know, cooking it on the grill, it snaps really easy. Where are those little, you give me a little fork? No, use mine. Okay, use yours. Let's see if I can get a big piece out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this one. There we you go. You make everyone on your videos jealous. I know I do. Oh, man. That is some good crab. And you know, when we, when we make these pizzas, and we use the real crab, it's even better. That fake crab works pretty good, though, so. Well, team, this is Mike oh, from One Arm Brewing signing off. Oh, I'm going to eat. You know, Chase made that uh, crawfish boil. I got the seafood pizza going. Jude's over here being a tool. Signing off. Do something nice. See you later. Have a good one.